The Boston Marathon takes place tomorrow, but one runner won't be there. We begin with breaking news. The women's Go St. Louis Marathon winner is a fake. Marathon organizers say she never even ran the race. We found the real winner, Andrea Carl, starting the race in this video. She's the one in orange near the middle of your screen. The blonde woman right there with the we drew it. We drew a circle around her. It's the one that's inside the circle and not any of the other people who are darkened on the outside of the circle. Are you still not seeing her? She's right there. With all the technology marathons have incorporated over the years, though, how can you still cheat? How did this woman pull this off? She's not wearing her bib in the proper place. It was hidden under her shirt on her shorts. Race officials couldn't find any electronic markers for Schlur, and no one seemed to recall seeing her on the race course. She told race officials that she removed the magnetic tags so her times would not be recorded, a violation of race protocol. And yet, we celebrated her anyway, for some reason. Even after all that, she said she won, so we believed her. Man, we are stupid. As strange as this story is, though, it gives us a chance to take a look back at some of the more ridiculous cheating scandals that have plagued the marathon running world over the years. We all know the story, right, of Rosie Ruiz, the infamous 1980 Boston Marathon cheat who joined the race at the last half mile and was crowned the winner. During a post-race interview, Rosie, looking rather not sweaty, responded to a reporter who asked if she had trained with lots of heavy intervals by saying, I'm not sure what intervals are. <laughs> and in the 35 years since, there have been plenty of others. The female winner of this weekend's Chickamauga Battlefield Marathon has been disqualified. They say it's how fast she completed the last leg of the race that made them look into it further. The first half timed out at about two hours and six minutes. But the timing chip shows Hamilton ran the remaining half in less than 50 minutes. Easy there, Prefontaine. You don't have to <laughs> obey the laws of the race, but you do have to obey the laws of physics. Uh, and don't think Americans are the only ones. One runner in Scotland's Kielder Marathon found one of his competitors cheating in a rather interesting way. Witnesses have come forward and state that they did see uh, Mr. Sloan get on a bus, get off a bus, and then run the last part of a mile into the finishing line. Now, if you're wondering how a sweaty, smelly man didn't stick out like a sore thumb on the bus, well, then you've never ridden a public bus. <laughs> All of this begs the question, why? Why are you cheating at the marathon? When you think about it, you're only competing against yourself. I mean, maybe you're really into leafy headbands, but <laughs> even then, just go to Coachella. <laughs> I think it's because the only real appeal of running a marathon is that you get to tell everyone you know that you ran a marathon. Because on a purely practical level, running 26 miles became a pretty useless skill as soon as we invented cars. <laughs> but telling people you ran a marathon, that's useful because it earns you respect. It makes you look dedicated and it makes them feel lazy and fat and gross. <laughs> so if you can find a way to skip the actual running and just get to the part where people are forced to respect you, why wouldn't you? Or if you want to do some of the running, that's fine too. Just make sure you tell people it took less time than it actually did. It's not like they'll ever find out. And you said that you had run a two hour and 50 something marathon. It turned out that of course it was actually over four hours. How did you make that mistake? It was an honest mistake. I was 20 years old. I hurt my back when I was about 23 or 24 and I had to quit running. I ran an ordinary race and I thought the answer I gave was an ordinary time. Obviously it wasn't. Obviously. And I mean, you hurt your back, so you couldn't possibly know what time you ran in a marathon. <laughs> I think we can all agree that with all this cheating and lying and cutting corners, marathons are just not worth it. Unless it's a bar rescue marathon, then sign me up. <laughs>